Hi, this is James Governor from Redmonk, and it's another episode of Opinionated Infrastructure. I'm here in Las Vegas for IBM Impact 2013, and as usual, I have some stuff to talk about. I have some opinions, um, I have some ideas, and you know, I, I, I'm, I'm looking at, at Pure Systems, and there's their booth behind. Oh, this is a big deal for IBM. It's their converged infrastructure platform, but also a platform as a service layer. Um, basically, I think they're kind of those servers are going to start to kind of move into that kind of world. Pure it, it effectively becomes the chassis. Um, so anyway, thinking about what are the kinds of environments that are supported. So as you know, I talk about opinionated infrastructure and sometimes the vendor needs to have a really strong opinion about what, what software is supported on a box. Um, you know, if we think about kind of Apple and the control of the environment, we need to see the same thing from an enterprise perspective. But obviously the customer has an opinion too and that's something we need to respond to. Now it's kind of interesting because in a world where it's like, it's going to be DB2 all the time, um, unfortunately customers won't necessarily buy that. And I think it's important to understand that the IBM um, Pure App servers now are supporting SAP, they are supporting Oracle, and I think it's support of multiple environments whilst keeping the configuration and everything down, that's going to provide some customer value. So um, as I say, ah, there's Nigel, I need to talk to you, sir. Um, so anyway, uh, uh, it's sort of unconnected, but I'm going to go and talk to these guys over here. Um, oh wait, they disappeared. Where? Oh, okay. Great. So, the guys from Zend. I don't know if you know Zend, um, but basically they make PHP suitable for the enterprise. And uh, they don't know that I'm about to interview them, but I am about to interview them. So, Mr. Goldman, sorry. I, this, I, I just, I was doing a video thing, and I thought that I might as well talk to you. So, Opinionated Infrastructure is this video series I'm doing, and basically I talk about, um, yeah, so infrastructure and how you have to have a strong opinion in order to uh, get effective management of an environment. And I just suddenly realized, wait a second, why don't I talk to Andy at Zen, because you've got an announcement about a deal that you're doing with IBM that packages everything up in a way that gets more customer value. So, what is that? So, we, you know, we definitely believe that you want to automate and integrate end-to-end -end the whole experience around building mobile applications from mobile to cloud. So what we've actually done is we've taken Zen Server, our PHP application server, and integrated it into IBM Smart Cloud and basically created an automated pattern that's elastic, scalable, and fault tolerant on the Smart Cloud system. Integrated that into our developer experience around building APIs in a very fast and integrated way. And then at the front end, we actually integrated that API um, development experience into IBM Worklight at the front end. Okay. So we're basically the, kind of the, in the sandwich, the ham between you know Worklight and Smart Cloud. And can you see yourself on one of these boxes? We actually do have a pattern. Ah, you already have <laughs> a pattern, so you're so, there already. Yeah, so we actually have a pattern for pure application systems. Okay. And so you can actually, use us with the same pattern on IBM Smart Cloud and on Pure Systems and, on Pure. and other clouds. So we've really delivered a very, very consistent environment uh, for enterprise And customers. so obviously for a lot of shops, PHP, they know they can get things up and running quickly, so it's integrated with all the rest of it. So you're kind of taking advantage of this, this opinion or at least this kind of infrastructure rationalization that IBM is doing? Yeah, and I think you know what the value that we deliver is Web and mobile development is really happening in the line of business, and it needs to be very agile and incremental. And that's, of course, what our strength is. You know, PHP's strength has always been around web and mobile. Okay. And so I think by bringing our agility of development and deployment, and and coupling that with what IBM is doing at the infrastructure level, and then on the front end to mobile, is a really nice. And so who's the main solution. line of business? I mean, is it marketing getting all excited? I mean, who's actually buying that stuff now? Who's saying we need the the, the new kinds of mobile apps? So I'd say the, the folks who are mandating these applications are very often the head of marketing. Okay. Uh, Which is kind of new for you, because like, you know, PHP yeah. is a little bit dorky and whatnot, right? Now you're talking to the slick suits, the marketing people. Well, I would say that we still sell more to the head of development and head of operations, but if you talk about the business owner who's actually owning the mobile project and is trying to get you know, a mobile application out fast, it's actually very often mandated by the head of marketing or the GM. Okay. Right of the organization. So. so anyway, I mean, you know, I think on my feet, and I was just going to like do this thing, and I have to say, I just totally dropped Andy in it. So Andy Cookman <laughs> from uh, Zend, uh, thanks for your time, and uh, and yeah, so it seems like Pure is building up that uh, that that ecosystem of partners now, and that's good to see. Thank you. Thank you.